Okay, hi guys, welcome back to the Science Jam where I, your host, Jemaya, make technical topics easy and fun to learn. I have been receiving a lot of feedback from you all, um, just some people, you know, random people, family, friends, everyone, you know, just giving me some feedback on how I can make things more interesting and fun for you all, and that's what I want. I want you guys to learn, but I also want to make it easy, I want to make it exciting, and I want to make it fun. So that's me, that's my attempt at making things easy and exciting and fun by doing all these weird hand gesture motions. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Before we get into today's topic, I'm going to show you guys something really, really cool. And it is this right here. I know that it probably looks just like extremely, extremely small and boring, but it's not. It's actually an engine that I made, me, it took me three months, so be proud because I am. I machined it by hand. It's a steam air engine. Um, it ran at around 1650 RPM um, and withstood an 80 pound load. <laughs> All right, moving on. For today's topic, we're gonna be talking about momentum. And thank you guys so much for sending in videos of you doing highly active activities so then I can dissect that a little bit. And if you stick around for today's video, you're gonna see me doing a roundhouse kick it's horrible, it's very horrible, but it gets the point, okay? <laughs> All right, so what is momentum? So what is momentum? Also, I got some new markers, so you guys should be able to see much better, and I clean my board. So everything should be, you know, much better for you all. So what is momentum? Let's go ahead and get right into it. It is G equals MB. G equals MB. This is momentum right here. And the M stands for mass and the V stands for velocity. But this little little squiggly arrow that I put on top, that just means vector. So momentum is G, mass is, you know, anything. So let's take this little pyramid here. Where did I get this pyramid? I don't know. Actually, I do know. My mom got it from Egypt. So <laughs> that's cool. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to take this mass, right? And so it's a mass. Okay. And so velocity, what's velocity? Your first thought is probably going to be speed, but speed is a quantity, whereas velocity is a vector. So it's a quantity that has a direction. So let's say you're in a car. I'm going to take this car because props, you know, like somebody told me props, you need props. So here we go. Car, 3D printed 911 Porsche. Pretty cool. Anyway, I didn't, I didn't do this. It was from a friend. Um, so... We're going to take this car, right? And let's say this car is traveling at 71 miles per hour down a highway, right? And that's the speed, whereas the highway is going north. So 71 miles per hour north is its velocity because it has a direction and a magnitude of quantity. Make sense? Cool. I thought so too. So since it's a mass that has velocity because it's traveling down the road, it has momentum. All right, <laughs> great. Now we're gonna get into some clips. Um, what I'm gonna show you is a clip of my roommate and really good friend, Kate, doing this amazing roundhouse kick. So we're just gonna watch her right now. See that she's building it up she's doing it perfectly. And now we're gonna watch my attempt at a roundhouse kick, which is, <laughs> I didn't take Taekwondo or karate or any of these, you know, cool, cool things as a child. Check out Ronisa's clip because it's just really cool. <laughs> Alright. 
And also, we're gonna check out a clip of my good friend, Johnny, who is skiing and also has an epic fail. Thank you so much for sending this in, you guys. And we're now we're gonna get into dissecting why Kate and Ronice's kicks and high momentum activities were so much better than me and Johnny's. Ah, because it was horrible. Okay, so now that we've taken a look at a few clips, let's start. So we know that momentum is mass times velocity, right? So does that mean that the more mass you have, the greater the momentum you have, the higher you go? Yes, it is. So let's say we take this little rattling koala and <laughs> we take a piece of 3D printed just block, right? This one is clearly heavier. This one is like a lot fluffier. And which one do you think is gonna go higher? The one with the heavier one or the lighter one? Let's see. <laughs> the heavier one went higher. But doesn't that seem kind of backwards though? Because, I mean, the more weight, the higher you go. That's, that's weird, right? But it's not because we know that momentum is mass times velocity. So the greater mass you have, the greater momentum you have and the higher you go. <laughs> okay, so for this uh, linear momentum problem, it's actually a very simple one, really easy one, and as always, I'm going to do the hard part and all that work, and you all are just gonna sit back, relax, and watch me do it, okay? So, we know that G equals MV, right? that we can remind ourselves about that. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw it out. Let's say we have a mass here. I'm gonna label it M, and it's traveling at a certain velocity. At a 30. So we have our mass M traveling at a velocity that we're just gonna call 20 meters per second. And the mass is actually kilograms and I hope that since I'm using the metric system that that's okay with everyone um, it's just what I'm used to if y'all prefer the English system just comment below and let me know and I will do that from now on but it's just easier for me to use the metric system okay five hours later I just finished doing a linear momentum problem where, would you guys believe that I got a C in this class? <laughs> I know, right? Anyway, <laughs> I just finished doing a linear momentum problem where our mass of 10 kilograms was traveling at a velocity of 20 meters per second, right? So then I calculated out the linear momentum in both the x direction and the y direction because it's going at a angle, you see, a 30 degree angle. So then I took the magnitude of the x direction and the y direction and I found that our overall linear momentum was tra of this mass, 10 kilogram mass, is traveling at 151 meters per second. So that's it and thank you all for watching. Please tune in next week where I will be talking about a new technical topic. Thank you all for uh, learning with me and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Tune in next week for Science Jam Sundays. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. <laughs>